when you see tipu jayanti being celebrated and uh, um, the entire politicization of the issue happening uh, how did you react how did you feel no no i was the first one to protest you know i took my, my entire community together see siddaramaiah decided on his i think second year of his uh, you know government he let this vague idea of you know will make him a, you know that was his disaster you know that that damaged him politically also very badly because he shouldn't have done this so whoever has celebrated one thing you see in history whoever has celebrated tipu sultan has not uh, you know not survived he has, he has been destroyed so whoever uh, <laughs> right up to our malya who got his sword also had to leave the country <laughs> Uh, yeah, to that extent, whoever celebrated to Kusulta, yari ko barka tagi lella. Nobody has. Uh, They have met their fate. Yeah, Absolutely. and uh, uh, you know that was really you know we heard right from childhood. See, see, with the, the problem with me is, I said I am from Aikala village, and I went to the church school. In when I was in primary, the school is just opposite to the church. Mm -hmm. and every year during our annual festival we used to you know uh, honor these three families i said three village head families of aikada talipadi kuttu and uh, yelinge for saving our church from tipu sultan that was the uh, uh, history i heard right from childhood right but in the same school which is right in front of the, the textbook says he was a very gentle, very good gentleman you know in fourth standard i read He used to give biscuit and milk to the prisoners. Who oh, Tipu Sultan was giving? I don't know how he invented biscuits those days. <laughs> no, no, he was giving biscuit and uh, milk to prisoners. This is what we read in the here in the textbook. And practically, what we see is we are honoring Hindu families for saving our church. That was a contradiction we saw. And from a from a elders, everybody entire you know entire our community, everybody know our history. Whatever the textbook may say, we. from our ancestors have learned our history and it is well known well recorded that he was the biggest enemy of our community so celebrating him or making him a hero was unacceptable for us but somehow uh, you know it, it had continued but this was the you know last uh, you know breaking point it, um, celebrating his birthday and that is uh, now enough is enough we have to Get to the streets and uh, protest it. I gathered my community. The other side, the Hindus gathered the, their community. All protested throughout Karnataka, and government had to uh, bow down. They may not agree, they bow down, but <laughs> the the situation is so pathetic that government had to, you know, literally they couldn't. Uh, neither they could chew nor they could uh, spit. You know, that was the case with the government. So that was the anger with the people. That itself shows that if he was a hero. People had no reason to be angry. No, but if you say politicisation, by politicisation you can't make the entire mass angry. The entire mass of Karnataka was angry, irrespective of whether he is a the Hindu or a Christian. Everybody was angry. So that, that was the real anger which was there among the people. And Congress led it to a you know very you know disastrous level. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content, and to support our work, please visit citti. dot net. Thank you. Namaskar.